So you're tired of Windows or Mac and thinking of a different operating system for your computer. Well, I have a great one for you to try. Peppermint OS. Let's take a look at it. Hi, Dennis Ray here. Before we get into it, I have to do a shameful, I mean, a, a shameless cell promotion. The analysis in YouTube says most people that watch my videos do not subscribe. What? So, if you don't subscribe, you miss out. Please like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out. It's free. Okay? Thank you. Peppermint OS is a Linux distribution based on Lubuntu, which in turn is based on Ubuntu, which has a hybrid LXDE and XFCE desktop environment, making it a lightweight OS which is very fast and easy on system resources. This is the Peppermint desktop and uh, I'm recording this in virtual box and the full desktop is not visible, but that's all right. The desktop has a look and feel uh, similar to Windows. It has a taskbar on the bottom. There's the time and date. Uh, the time can be changed from 12 hours to 24 hours, the language, and you can make your selections there. A volume control, power manager, uh, internet connection monitor, update monitor, and uh, updates will happen just about daily uh, when updates happen you don't have to reboot every single time uh, except once in a while this is an area you can change workspaces over on the left there are these icons now you can add or take away icons as you want to but uh, this uh, medium player terminal where you can uh, add commands a file manager and Peppermint features the popular Nemo file manager, Firefox, which is the default web browser, and the menu gives you access to all the available programs. So in the menu, it has a listing of all the programs that you have access to that are installed and in the cloud, which is something unique to Peppermint there's favorites, recently used, a listing of all the programs that you have access to. And then below that, the programs are divided out by category. There's uh, accessories, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office. And in office, you have access to Microsoft Office Suite Online. But to be able to use this, you have to have a uh, a Microsoft account but if you don't have the account you can install LibreOffice to this and then below that there is settings and system and uh, in system there is software you can uh, use this to add or remove software and the software manager that you can use to install new applications. And we'll go through these. So software. I'll open that up. And, uh, and here you can see what programs are installed. You have the option to remove them if you want to. And there's a long list of programs that is installed. And you can see if the programs are up to date, if they need updating. And you can install any other programs if you like. Uh, we mentioned LibreOffice earlier, so if you want to find a particular program, you can go to search. And let's uh, search for, well, we mentioned LibreOffice earlier, so let's search for that. Okay, and there it is. So if we click on that, 
brings it up, has some information about it. And if we want to install it, you can click that and it doesn't take long and it will install it. Then there is Software Manager, which is basically another way to install programs. You bring it up, you can do a search for programs, their recommended programs, or by category. And the uh, same thing, if you uh, click on a program, there's information about it, and you can hit install. Other things you'll find in the menu is on the bottom, a search. Say if we want to find Firefox, we just start typing Firefox in there, and there it is. At the very top, well, there's a user, access to settings, lock screen, switch, switch users, log out. Uh, also, you can change the size of the menu. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Let's take a look at settings. Uh, the settings panel, user, and there are a number of different settings where you can make Peppermint exactly the way you want it. Uh, the Peppermint Control Center, there's Window Manager. You can change the look of the windows. Yeah, let's go back to default. Number of different settings below that. Keyboard and pointer, keyboard shortcuts, and oy, there are a lot of shortcuts there. Desktop effects, advanced, custom look and feel. Ooh, you can make a bunch of different changes to the look in this. <laughs> Color, icon themes. Mouse cursor, font, other, okay. Oh, panel preferences, yeah, custom wallpapers, and there's a bunch there. Language support, login, keyboard settings, notification tweaks, reset panel default. see browser manager where you can install other browsers or uninstall browsers cursor resizer set font hardware if you want to install printers sound control for play playback, recording, output, input, display, set your resolution and so forth. Additional drivers, audio equalizer, wow. Power manager, and this, you can control your audio in this too. Network. And system. Time and date. What program start up. And this is 
another way of adding and removing programs a lot of different ways you can make different settings for peppermint OS let's see how much computer resources peppermint OS actually uses shall we let's go to terminal type in free space hyphen H enter and right now it's using 305 megabytes which is really not much at all uh, especially considering Windows uses well over a gigabyte of memory at any one time so this reflects that peppermint OS is really a very light Linux distribution this is peppermint's website and I'll put a link for this in the description below on the top there's some information about the operating system and uh, peppermint is free but the developers ask that you donate which is wise so you can keep a great operating system active and below that there is information about peppermint uh, lightweight stable fast it's a long-term support operating system which means that it'll be supported for a few years and below that there's a link to the download page so we'll click on that and on the download page you select whether you want 32 or 64 bit whichever works for your computer and then download the ISO image and install it and I did a video of how to install Linux operating systems that are based on Ubuntu and I'll put a link for that in the description below after that enjoy your new operating system that was peppermint OS an operating system that won't spy on you and won't require an antivirus program thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe see ya